Hey guys, welcome back to A Daily Dose of Love with Tasha. I'm your host, Tasha Bradley. Thank you all for tuning in each and every Wednesday, allowing me to be magic in your ear. You are appreciated. Today is uh, July the 3rd. We're in the month of July. We have six more months to end the year of 2024. So we're definitely at the halfway mark here, guys. I would like to send some hump day love to everyone, everyone that got up this morning, no matter how difficult it was, and anyone who's making someone else's life easier, although you're going through your own things. If you're making someone else's life easier, you're being a good friend, you're being encouraging, you're sharing smiles and love with someone else or just the rest of the world, you are awesome. You are amazing. We need more people in this world to be kind. All we need to do is to be kind to one another. And this world will be such a beautiful place. So shout out to everyone who's going through their own storms and continue to spread light and be light to someone else. So big shout out to you all. I love you all. Remember, and the reminder is we have six months left in 2024. We could turn anything around that we choose. So let's get to work. That's what I'm doing. And I know you all are as well. Um, I'd like to give a big shout out to our international listeners. Welcome back, guys. I hope life's treating everyone well. If you're new to hearing my voice and you've chosen to press play on a daily dose of love, welcome aboard here. I'm encouraging self-love through self-care. My name is Tasha Bradley, so you are most welcome. Okay, come in, go through the content, tell a friend to tell a friend, and um, I'm here, and I'm your girl. I am amazing. (laughs) So thank you all for tuning in. I'd also like to ask, what's in your cup? What's in your cup, guys? Well, I haven't had any wine or anything. We'll get into that. Uh, I'll update you all on my 30-day challenge that I've been doing. So we're going to um, have a toast for pushing yourself to uh, making sure that you are becoming the better version of yourself by really applying something daily that's going to make you better, that's making you healthier, okay, stronger, mentally Uh, freeing and just healing, right? That's what we're going to toast to, just uh, challenging ourselves to become better. I have here my detox water that I just uh, made over the weekend and I've been, um, actually I need to change it today. So it's mint, fresh mint, cucumber, lemon, and I put watermelon this time, chunks of watermelon. It was pretty good, but it's not as good as the strawberry one. I can admit that. So Whatever you have in your cup, I hope it's absolutely delicious. On three, one, two, three, cheers. Oh, that was so good. So refreshing. Being good to my body. Anywho, I'm updating you all on this um, episode about my 30-day no sugar detox challenge. I don't know, you know, some of you may not know, and if you're new to listening, you'll get informed now, but I've, uh, as of June, I started the 30-day no sugar detox challenge because sugar is my biggest weakness when it comes to my health, and um, I needed to detox because since I've been here in Delaware, I was just eating like brownies from Wawa, like two, three a day I was ordering. I was having a Sprite soda like every single day going through uh, a liter and just, uh, it, I was waking up to it like it was coffee and just throughout the day, I, that acid was just giving me some kind of rush. I don't know what my body was missing or needing, but I thought, let me um, change this because um, as I mentioned, I had uh, a family member who had a a uh, major stroke and um, it just really brought me back to when I had a stroke about uh, 17 years ago and I gave up cigarettes at that time. I gave up the hard liquor and I started exercising, but you know, my health and my weight has been a yo-yo. I can admit to that. It's been up and down, up and down for years. 
And I'm just wanting to, at this old, mature, seasoned age, in my 50s, wanting to get it right. Because, you know, as time goes and years go, it doesn't get easy to lose the weight. So it's now or never, and I'm really more committed than I've ever been. And that's why I've extended my challenge from 30 days to 90 days, because I know if I had ended it, I would have first off rewarded myself, which would have been horrible. And I would have uh, started implementing cheat days every weekend, which I'm no longer going to do. I want to save those days for when I'm out or going to a concert, traveling, just more than just having to cheat because um, it's the weekend. It's Saturday. I have to program myself because I've noticed that what triggers me to fall back is that, uh, like I said, I'll have a cheat day. That cheat day will be on a Saturday. My sister Brandy had um, given me some good advice and says, you know, when you have a cheat day, just cheat with one thing, not the entire day going from here to there, eating this and that. So I'll definitely implement that. If I want to cheat, it'll just be one thing that I'll cheat with, not the entire day to cheat. And, um, my sister also told me another thing that I know is true about myself. If it's healthy, I will eat it like it's just okay. And I will eat a whole bag of something or, you know, it's just like it's healthy, but you don't have to indulge in the entire whatever it is. You know, I'm just, uh, I overdo it. So I'm really greedy. I'm a foodie and I have to learn my trigger points. And as I was saying, my trigger point would be if I were to cheat, I would go cheat on Saturday all day. Then if I had some leftover, I thought, well, it's just Sunday. Let me just get another little piece. Then it spills off into Monday, Tuesday. Now I'm off track all over again. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go to 90 days. I've been working out. I haven't been uh, walking the last couple of days because here in Delaware, there was a bear loose. So I knew I couldn't outrun the bear. So I definitely haven't been walking, but I've been going to YouTube looking for... um, Low impact cardio videos, which I forgot the guy's name. I forgot to write it down for you all, but uh, there's different ones that you can find and target different parts of your body. This month, I want to get back into my planks because planks will really just rip up the core right there where I need it because the stomach is going down. Guys, I was walking the other day and you know, I'm a triple D girl. I was looking down. I'm thinking I'm all breast. Where the hell is my stomach? Well, it's going down, baby. I wasn't able to see it over my breast so that's a great sign because normally all I can see is the belly you know so I'm feeling really good about that and I know that the uh, detox water has a lot to do with that because I've noticed that I'm having more bowel movements and uh, because of that you know it's really helping me so yeah I'm getting there guys and I just want to give you guys a little um, briefing here about the 30 day challenge The 30-day challenge is a promise to consistently carry out a given activity or practice for an entire month. It provides a period of time that frames establishing new healthy habits, exploring personal growth, and achieving desired goals. You give yourself a chance to improve your life if you practice a 30-day challenge. So for anyone who wanted to jump on this challenge, you're more than welcome. I would uh, love to have you all. We can hold each other accountable and stuff and uh, just encourage each other or, you know, just encourage me from the sideline. If you have any tips or anything you think I should be doing, please email me at bradleytasha6 at gmail.com or you could leave it here on Spotify after the show or any of my social media. Just reach out to me. I'm welcoming all um, advice and recommendations or suggestions. I'm open to it, you know? The thing that, oh, I forgot to tell you all, I did have a little hiccup in June. I have to confess this. I didn't write it on social media because I wanted to share it with you all. Um, I didn't have any slip-ups, but I did have a little hiccup, and it wasn't my fault, and I didn't even realize until the following Monday. So two weeks ago, I was with my cousin Lisa at her son's house, and he and his wife had gone up to Baltimore to visit the wife's sister. And when I went on Facebook, I saw that, you know, she had put a plate up and I thought, oh, she's eating some fried ribs and, you know, they're enjoying. So when they came home, I told her, I said, oh, was that fried ribs that you had? And she goes, oh, no, that was uh, fried salmon. And I go, I've been seeing folks online, you know, frying salmon. Is it good? And she goes, oh, it was delicious. So my cousin Lisa asked for a taste, you know, a sample. 
and Kiyavandra went into her kitchen, warmed up and, you know, brought me out a little sample plate as well. And um, it was the fried salmon with, um, I think she said it was like a pineapple spicy, some kind of sauce. There was some mac and cheese. And guys, why did I not notice the damn candy yams? <gasps> They were on the plate, but like I said, it was a small portion. You know me, foodie, I went right in. I never even paid attention and, you know, really focused like, come on, Tasha, you're eating yams. So I enjoyed the plate. I enjoyed the uh, fried salmon. That was the first. It was really good. So I was telling her. And Monday, as I'm going over things, I'm like, you had those damn yams. And it was like, oh, my Lord. So that was my little slip up. You know, within the month, I haven't had any anything to drink, no um, liquor, no vodka, no wine. So I've been really good with that. I, I hadn't cheated, but, you know, that was a little slip up. But like I said, I was just into the plate and the uh, salmon and I just didn't even take notice. So that was my little one slip up and it was just uh, maybe a little spoonful. It wasn't more than that, but I did have that slip up. So. It's my confession, I did, uh, I punched up, I punched up, <laughs> and I didn't even realize it, so, um, and moving along, I've been doing good, and like I said, after the, my 90 days, I would love to be able to, uh, wherever I go, if I'm out and about with, you know, family, friends, if we're dining, if there was something I wanted to indulge, I would, you know, maybe take half of whatever was served to me. I spoke to my cousin Karen because her and her husband are always eating out and she's losing weight. Big shout out to my cousin Karen. Oh, and Booby, her husband Floyd. They're just uh, empty nesters re, um, reintroducing themselves to dating and everything. But anyway, uh, you know, they're just out and about with that black love all strong. But they're always out eating, dining. I'm telling, I'm asking Karen, like, damn, how are you maintaining your weight loss and out eating like that? And she says, well, we share everything. Sometimes if there's a baked potato, I may take like two little scoops, you know. Some days I don't uh, order drinks. I'll just have water with lemon. So she was giving me some insight. So I want to be able to do that as well. And then jump right back into my healthy and not just uh, backtrack and trigger and just, okay, today I can eat this and tomorrow I can have that. No, I want to be able to just say, okay, I've enjoyed a little taste, a spoonful, a forkful, whatever, and I'm back on track. That's that's the goal this time because I am not giving up. I am becoming the healthier version of myself for real. You know, I have to practice what I preach. And right now I'm all in, guys. So I want you all to know that. And some of the benefits that I've noticed from this 30 Day Sugar, one of the things I'm going to read off here um, is my skin. Oh, Lord. I didn't know that uh, sugar was so damaging for your skin. So I'm going to read off here. Um, What are the benefits of the sugar-free challenge? Benefits of quitting sugar, weight management. One of the most significant benefits of cutting out sugar is its positive effect on weight control. Yes, improve heart health, better blood sugar control, improve mental clarity, increased energy level, better skin health, and um, improved taste buds. Okay, so those are some of the things that you can experience cutting out sugar. What happens now? This is the one that's really gotten me and I can really see this differences, which I, I, my cousin Michael did tell me that he could see that I've lost some weight. So yeah, and I, like I said, my belly's disappearing. But uh, what happens to your face when you stop eating sugar? This was something that I, I, I wasn't even thinking of and not had a clue about, you know, so you will look younger. It says studies show that those who reduce their sugar intake improve their complexion. Acne starts to diminish and collagen production increases, which can take years off of your complexion. Quitting sugar could be the cheapest skincare product you invest in. Imagine that. Yes, that's what I'm experiencing because yeah, I'm looking at myself in the mirror in the mornings when I wake up like, damn girl, like it. I really felt like I was aging here since I came to Delaware and I thought it was just because I was stressed with everything I was going through, you know, job wise and stuff like that, trying to get settled and situated. But you no, know, it turns out it was all the sugar I had increased that I know for a fact was aging me. Ooh, it was horrible. And now I've knocked some years off. So consider that uh, kings and queens, you may hmm, turn the hand, clock, when they say turn the hands of, turn the 
hands back on the clock. You guys know what I'm trying to say, but yeah. So quit that sugar and you will look younger. I guarantee you that my skin feels so much softer. Like I'm like, hey, and that's really encouraging me to stay away. So yes, yes. And um, does no sugar reduce belly fat? One good place to begin improving your food choices is to eliminate sugary drinks and not just soda, but juices. Sugar increases belly fat and fiber reduces belly fat. Thus, when you're juicing fruits, you're removing the fiber, leaving pure sugar. So those are just some of the tips that I wanted to read off to you all. And um, as I've stated, what I'm going to do is I'm implementing pretty much a Mediterranean um, diet. I'm pretty much doing that, which is consists of let me uh, put uh, I have the Mediterranean diet, which pretty much consists of beans, a lot of green leafy vegetables, nuts, and uh, you know, fatty, the good fatty uh, omegas. So salmon, you know, a lot of avocado. It's all of those things. So, you know, we just have to, and then I'll um, implement also, I've been using a lot of more, uh, a lot more of turkey, chicken, um, a little seafood, fish and shrimp, not much. I'm staying away from frying. I've been using the Ninja Grill and I've been making a lot of black beans with smoked turkey, which I've broken that down because once I've eaten it for maybe one or two days, I'll take the remainder of the bean, the black beans, and I've mixed it with um, boiled chicken, and I made tacos with the uh, chicken and black beans with tortillas and cheese and sour cream. And then I also had it for breakfast one morning where I mixed the uh, chicken, black beans with eggs. So that was really good, and just had that in an open bowl. So I've been and 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 using kielbasa sausage and. Um, trying to stay away. I haven't had any bacon, I don't think. Yeah, just boiled eggs, a lot more fruit, the detox infused water, and um, turkey. I've been having a lot of maybe uh, baked turkey wings and the uh, smoked turkey tails. Sometimes I boil them like, you know, how my sister Brain was doing. Back in the days, I didn't like them because I just didn't get into them, but now I really love it. And um, I'll just boil a few of them, four or five, eat them in a bowl. That would be that. And I am just, like I said, I'm snacking on a lot more fruit, watermelon, and um, keep a few grapes around. And um, I'm just uh, really enjoying this. I have some popcorn, but I haven't really been using the popcorn. I'm cutting up cucumbers, but I'm putting tahini on it, also with the watermelon. So just little small things, you know, that I've been doing and just more beans. That's a lot of fiber and protein. And... uh, not much beef. I, I had one steak last month and I'm um, trying to be easy on the pork, but tomorrow we'll have ribs <laughs> uh, for the fourth. So yeah, um, it's just, it's been amazing. I'm feeling awesome and I'm encouraging everyone to, like I said, join in. If you'd like, hit me up and let me know. But the challenge so far has been going amazing. I'm loving the results and I am promising myself and you all that I am definitely, definitely committed to becoming the better version of myself. I'm really, really, really locked in this time and I want it to last. I'm just tired of the back and forth, you know, on and off and Facebook will hurt your feelings in regards to the 30 day challenges that I've had. And then there was the one incident that I've uh, completed actually. And there was one incident in Vegas when I had gone to the doctor, I was at work one day and I just wasn't feeling well. And I was just getting dizzy and dizzy. I forgot what the outcome was, but I remember going there to the doctor, um, to the emergency room and you know how they put you on the uh, scale and the nurse there told me I was 274 pounds. And I hadn't been under 300 pounds in years. I remember when Andrew was born, my nephew, he'll be 18 in uh, September. And when he was born, I was there to pick my sister up from the hospital because he had come home the day before her. And um, she had to stay because she had blood clots. But anywho, I remember when the scale came out, I must have really looked horrified because the nurse that was 
um, weighing her, then asked me, did I want to get on the scale? And I knew he was being an ass because why would you ask me that? You saw the look of horror in my face and then wanted me to get on, maybe to body shame me or something. But I turned it around and I told him, oh, sure. I'd love to get on the scale. I said, because my man don't want me losing any weight. I said, if I lose a pound, he will not let me in the bed. And he looked like, hmm. So I got on and I remember that was the first time I realized I was way over 300 and some pounds, which I had never been. And that just terrified me. And so it was like years later in Vegas, which was about, let's say, nine years, eight years, maybe eight years ago. And I had gotten to 274. And do you know, I was telling my cousin Karen, I left that uh, hospital after being treated and released. I left there and went straight to the grocery store and got me a big thing of ice cream. At that time, I had been, you know, purchasing any bad stuff. And what I would do is with the Mediterranean diet, whatever you have for dinner, you would have the next day for lunch. So I would pack my lunch for work, get up, have my cereal, my yogurt, my banana. You know, I have a great routine. And at that time, when I would get with family or go out, that's when I would, you know, enjoy myself. But yeah, I found out I was 274 and went damn crazy and never looked back. And then as I completed these 30 days, 30 days with uh, Black women losing weight on Facebook was the first page that I found when I was going through menopause. And I mean, I was huge. I had to be over 400 or so pounds at that time. And I started doing those challenges. But like I said, I would complete a 30 day, then go back for the next three to four months and be me. Then I do another 30 day, go back the next six, eight months being me. Complete a 30 day, go back the following year. So this is why I'm extending this particular 30 day to 90 days. And after 90 days, I should really, really have it down pat. You know, I should really, really be okay. All righty. I hope, uh, you guys join me and um, let's all become the healthier versions of ourselves. And in 2024, we got six months. We could look completely different by the end of this year. We can change our health. We can get off the meds. We could lower our blood pressure, control our diabetes and uh, cholesterol, whatever's going on with our health. I'm just encouraging all of us to, you know, just be mindful of what we're putting in our bodies and the intake. And now, like I said, I'm working on portion control this month. I'm going to um, implement planks. So I'm just going to switch it up. And at the end of my 90 days in September the 1st, I'm looking to really be so amazed at what my body's gone through with the changes and how I'm feeling and definitely how I'm looking. And my outlook and mindset should be totally different that I'm not going to yo-yo again, that I'll be okay. So I'm wishing that on all of us. Hope you all could take something from here, this episode. And if not, you know, leave me some advice. Maybe something I've left out, something I need to know, okay? This week's shout out goes to, I had put something on, um, no, I was actually congratulating Dr. Tina Ramsey and she had gave me this message. So this shout out goes to Dr. Tina J. Ramsey. She says, you are most welcome because I had uh, given her a compliment or something. She says, by the way, I'm so proud of you. You are crushing it in these podcast streets. Keep going. And uh, Dr. Tina J. Ramsey has a podcast network. It's called the CTR. Yeah, CTR Network. You can find them on Roku, YouTube, uh, can find her on Facebook at Dr. Tina J. Ramsey. So, um, yeah, she's awesome. So thank you so very much, Dr. Tina. You are amazing, as I told you there. And then I wanted to leave you all with um, some motivation here to kind of close out this uh, episode. The Seven Foundations of Health is something that I'm, you know, looking at every day and remembering It's our thoughts. It's okay. The seven foundations of health. Breathe, thoughts, hydration, gratitude, movement, sleep, nutrition. So if we can remember these seven uh, foundations of health, we're going to be absolutely fine. Please leave me a message after this uh, episode. Let me know how you like it. Uh, Leave me a five-star rating continue to get healthy. I'm going to be my healthier self. I want you all to be your healthier self. And like I said, I'm welcome to any suggestions that you all may have, something I'm missing out on, something I need to implement. I'm here. 
You can email me at bradleytasha6 at gmail.com or hit me up here on Spotify or any of my social medias. Please, please, please leave your girl a five-star rating. You know I'm worthy. I'm out here trying to bring you guys the most amazing content. I have so much great um, stuff coming up in this month of July for you all. Next week's episode, we're going to talk about accountability. Oh, that's going to be a good episode. Anywho, make sure that you all take the poll after this show and uh, tell a friend to tell a friend about a daily dose of love. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Thank you for loving me. More importantly, love your damn self. One love.